Nanay nene, sabi niyo kumuha ko ng bato, hindi ko po maalis eh. Baka hindi ito madala sa airplane. Pero sige, subukan ko pong kuhain itong bato para sa inyo ha. We are now here, opo, in the Church of the Annunciation. Verbum caro factus est et habitavit in nobis. And the Word became flesh and He dwelt among us. This is the... This is given by the Philippines. Here, the Annunciation, the Mosaic of the Annunciation. So many countries have given their... Uh, it seems that the uh, Mosaic is in need of repair. <laughs> but this is the contribution of the Philippines here. So, Simbahan, na kung saan they have an excavation po in, in, inside, kaya parang dalawa level po yung simbahan. Kasi yun sa ilalim, nag-excavation sila na most probably daw, dito daw yung lugar kung saan si Angel Gabriel nagbalita, annunciation kay Mama Mary. Kaya yung verbo color factors, and the word became flesh. Yan. So this is a Catholic, Catholic church po ito. Kaya po yung, ano, yung dome niya parang inverted lotus. Kasi sabi, the virgin is like a fl the flower. And from the flower will come the fruit. The blessed is the fruit of your womb and it is Jesus. So ilalim po yung sabi simbahan daw po ni Mama Mary. Ay, ano po eh? Latin po yung kanilang mga ano. San Mateus, Marcus, Lucas, and Juanes. Johan, Johannes. John, John. John, okay. Matthew, Mark, Angelus Domi, the angel of the Lord, Nuncia with Mary, declared unto Mary, said to Mary. Ito po. Ano po? Saan po? Ay, Dominus Serpentem Ipsa Conteret. And the Lord... Okay. Hindi po, hindi po. Ser, serpentem po ito eh. I am the handmaid of the Lord. To be according to the word. Parang ganun po yata. Kaput tuwum et incendiaris kalkadeo eius. Ece virgo concepit and the virgin et and uh, you shall have a, a son and you shall name him Emmanuel. Ayus po yung Ayus. Nung ay po takay yung J, nagpapalit-palit po nila. Dito ka ba yung sa tabi ng si Joanne? Jesus has spent years in childhood. And from here, okay, we have a place just next to us in the market, in the shul, which is called Synagogue Church. Over there, Jesus Christ was teaching from the Bible, the Hebrew Bible, okay, from the Torah, from the book of Isaiah, and he was rejected by his own people, if you remember that. Then he left to St. Peter house, as we visited yesterday, right? You remember? Okay. Okay, what happened, what happened here? Why it's important for us this side? <clears throat> so according to traditions, Angel Gabriel appeared to Virgin Mary twice, first time at the well where I pointed out for you, and the second time at her house. Okay? So guys, the second time happened here according to the tradition where she was uh, staying in the house in Nazareth. Okay? She was that time she was engaged to whom? Joseph, of course. Okay, so Angel Gabriel announced to her and, uh, and announced to her and told her that she we are in the hallway the outside the church. The annunciation. This is the second time, okay, and that's what happened. Uh, but it's not only that, we have something more important, right, Father, which is the incarnation. What does that mean? God became man. God became man. 
God yeah. became man, okay? And here on this altar, where we believe she stayed in this house, okay, on this altar, there is a sentence written in Latin, okay, which means, here the word became flesh. Right, Father? Yes. Here, on this altar. So when we enter, why I'm explaining, I'm showing you this yeah. picture now, because silence is required inside the churches. We can't explain inside. Okay? So, according to tradition, so here she was stayed, and here uh, the angel Gabriel appeared to her, and this, you see, there is a steps leading up to the kitchen, according to the excavators. Uh, guys, we have, during the Byzantine uh, period, in 430, a church was built. Here we can see the altar, semicircle, the mosaic floor, okay, and other ruins. It was later destroyed in 638 by the Muslims, okay, rebuilt by the Crusaders. We can see some ruins date back to the Crusader period, which is the wall over there next to the new church, okay, you can see. <coughs> century and at the end the Franciscans Catholics they purchased the land from the Ottomans and they built this church in the 20th century in 1969 okay by an Israeli company called Soleil Bonnet they built the church you can see today okay it has uh, two floors the first one commemorating the event and the house of Virgin Mary with the ruins of the Byzantine period and the upper floor which is for the parish where they have the mass on Sunday. Okay. He has a question. Please. How old is Saint Joseph and the difference of age between Saint Joseph and the Virgin Mary? And I told him that uh, the Virgin Mary when uh, when she got pregnant would probably be about fourteen or sixteen years old. But we are not actually sure of uh, the exact it's, age. It's not mentioned in the Bible. It's not mentioned in the Bible. But that's the usual age where in uh, young maidens would marry. Uh, they, marry they marry very young. Yes. Uh, even in the even the Philippines, uh, in the provinces, they marry very young. So, but St. Joseph, there are uh, actually two traditions that are presented. Of course, these are traditions. Not they, They're not exactly written in the Bible. The first is that he is... Uh, he is a, a, a bachelor, meaning uh, walang, walang asawa, no? And then the second, he is uh, a widower. Um, aring balo na. No? But uh, it's not really mentioned. <coughs> but uh, the one who would claim about uh, he is a widower, because in certain parts of Scripture, they say it is that Jesus has brothers and sisters. So sabi na, baka stepbrothers and sisters, no? Parang ganon. But uh, it's hard to tell because they, they say in the Jewish language, when you, everybody refers to each other's brother or sister. Parang uh, everybody kababayan or ka, kapatid or gedon. So they're probably relatives, not necessarily the brothers and sisters. Uh, yes. so, yeah, sometimes, sometimes. That's one tradition. But of course, uh, many would actually hold on to the tradition that he is a bachelor. And uh, the reason why St. Joseph has the staff with the flower, the lily of St. Joseph, there's another tradition, it's not actually in the Bible, that uh, in apocryphal Gospels, they say that uh, uh, whomever, meaning say, Mary has so many suitors, <laughs> so parang Miss Universe, you know, maraming, you know, mahabang hair niya. No? <laughs> and then so many suitors that uh, whomever would come with the staff, separate the staff is already dead wood, yun, di ba? but it would suddenly bloom. Oh, into the, so that's why the, the story about the Lily of St. Joseph, to tell whom he will, she will marry. But these are, of course, either from uh, tradition or kaya, mga apocryphal gospels. When we say apocryphal gospel, there are many stories about it, but it is not really accepted by the church as canonically accurate. So, so. Okay. Here is going to Egypt. Here is St. Joseph as the father of the carpenter. Jesus building him because he was a carpenter. And John the Baptist baptized Jesus. We are in the lower level, the Church of the Annunciation.
We're now going to the Grotto of the Annunciation. Vero verbum caro hic factum est. We are now in the upper part of the church. already have uh, holy water. We are now in the Church of the Annunciation. See the modern depictions of the mosaics. Stained glass windows. Virgin Mary. This is the main altar. Church of the Annunciation. Pareho po ito. Under dito yung kanina pinagalingan po natin yun po yung uh, yung, arche uh, yung archaeological site po. Dun po talaga yung most probably the house of the Virgin Mary. Mm -hmm. Apo, yun po yung uh, Ito naman po, ito yung mismong simbahan po. This day will have ito. parishioners, friends, and family members, I pray here in the Church of the Annunciation for you, for all of you, for your help, even for those who are sick, even for those who have died, I pray for you. The Lord may be with us, and we may be with the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Donated by the German community. Uh -huh. Different kind of stained glass, very modern. The chunky kind of stained glass. Huh? This Binyagan po ito, baptistry. The statue of the Baptist in Jesus. <coughs> Papasok po tayo ngayon doon sa the Church of St. Joseph. Uh -huh. oh, it's important. Uh -huh. St. Joseph, eh, hindi siya yung tunay na tatay ni Jesus. Uh -huh. Pero, hindi siya yung biological. Opo, hindi siya biological. Pero talagang, itinuri niya talagang tunay na anak si Jesus. Uh -huh. Di ba? Uh -huh. Kaya sabi po nila na hindi raw matangkap ni St. Joseph na mamamatay daw si Jesus. Kaya pinagkaloob sa kanya ng Panginoon yung biyaya na, na bago pa mag-public ministry si Jesus, eh namatay na po si St. Joseph. Kaya po si St. Joseph daw po, according to tradition, namatay daw po sa, sa, kay, sa kal kalung siya ni Jesus nung namatay daw si St. Joseph. Bago mag Public ministry. public ministry. Opo. Bago ay... Bago mag-start siya. Nag Opo. Ba bali po, bago pumunta siya doon sa... Ang unang-unang po ba, pumunta siya sa sa Mount of Temptation. So, bago po siya umalis dito sa Nazareth, eh, parang pinahitulot na po kay St. Joseph na mamatay siya. Parang... Sa chronological uh, time, parang ano na na yung sa pumunta siya sa Kana o sa... Ay, hindi po. Mauna po yung sa Temptation. Sa Temptation. temptation. Opo. Mm -hmm.